Let's balance the redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus SO3 2 minus gives us this MnO2 and SO4 2 minus. This is the permanganate ion. This is the sulfite ion. So the first thing we do with these redox reactions is we write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done that, but if you need help, there's a link to a video on oxidation numbers at the end of this video. Next, after we have those oxidation numbers, we can write the half reactions for the species of interest. Those are the ones that have changed their oxidation numbers. That'll look like this. So the manganese goes from plus 7 to plus 4. This is a smaller number, so that would be our reduction reaction. The sulfur goes from plus 4 here to plus 6. That increased. That's going to be oxidation. You can also see that the number of oxygen atoms increased as well. So these are the half reactions for our redox equation. At this point, we'll balance each half reaction. First, we'll balance the atoms of interest. Manganese, manganese, that doesn't change. Sulfur, sulfur, those are balanced. Now we can balance the oxygen atoms by adding water. This takes place in aqueous medium, so we'll have water. Let's shrink this down a bit. So we have four oxygens here, two here. Let's add two water molecules. So that'll give us two plus two times one, two. So we have four oxygen atoms on both sides. Here, let's just add one water molecule. So we have one plus three is four oxygens over here. That's done. Now we can balance the hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions. This is taking place in acidic medium. So we have these H plus ions available. Two times two is four. So let's add four H plus over here, balance the hydrogen. We have two hydrogens here. Let's add two H plus over here. Finally, we can balance the charge by adding electrons to each side. We have a four plus here and a one minus. So we have an overall three plus here. Let's add three negative charges, three electrons. That balances the charge. Here we have a two minus and then a two minus and the two plus. Let's add two electrons here. So now the charge is balanced on each side of our half reactions. At this point, we're going to balance the overall equation for electrons. Then we'll add the half reactions together and we'll simplify. Think of it this way. We have these right here. These are the reactants. They're reacting to form the products over here. But we have three electrons in the reactants and two in the products. That's not balanced. With a redox reaction, we need to balance charge as well as atoms. So what we could do is if we multiplied everything here by two, that doesn't change the ratio, but now we have six electrons and everything here by three, we'd have three times two. We'd have six electrons in the products, six in the reactants, charge would be balanced. So we need to simplify. We need to add the half reactions together now and simplify. So what we'll do is we'll take two times all of this and three times all of this. That's the reactants. The products, two times here and three times right here, those are the products. That'll be our redox reaction, then we can simplify. That looks like this. So now we can simplify. We have six electrons here and then in the products. We can get rid of those. We have eight hydrogen ions and six here. Let's get rid of these and make this two. Then we have three water here and four here. So let's get rid of this and this will just be one water and we won't write the one. And that's it. This is our balanced redox reaction. Let me clean it up a little bit. So this is the final redox reaction here for MnO4 minus plus SO3 2 minus. You note the charge is the same on both sides. So we know we've done that part correctly. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That's a 0. And then we have 3 times 2 minus. 6 minus here. Over here, 3 times 2 minus is 6 minus. We've balanced the charge. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for the permanganate ion and the sulfite ion, giving us this manganese dioxide and the sulfate ion. Thanks for watching.